Good day, I'm Oliver. Let's unbox one Ludo from JDM. It is 198 uh, from uh, uh, Hitachi and the ZW370. We will open how it is. It is the first one upgraded, and uh, you don't find it from market yet. We just got this from a factory to see the function of this one, manual. I have to pull out one by one. Here are some spare parts, holes, tools, and stickers. Here's the, the radio. Let's pull it out. Okay, I will lift it up. Not easy to put my hand inside. Okay. So, because inside no have hydraulic oil, it is moving. Let's remove it. Well, very bright painting color. So we will put hydraulic oil and the connect power. We will test and run it to see. Okay. So the hydraulic oil tank, it is this one on this ladder. So four screw, one, two, three, four, all take out. This one can remove, then you can fill up on there. So from the right side here is the oil tank. Remove this return line. Can fill up hydraulic oil here. Okay. So as for this oil tank, maybe you need to add around 80 to 100 m uh, minimum liter. 80 100 should be enough. So already filled up hydraulic oil from the right side and put the, the, the wiper and the mirror. Now we will start running. So these stickers we will leave it for customer to put on by themselves. Let's start it. So light already on. We will see. Switch it off. And we turn it around so you can see it. Okay, start the light. Top one. One more. And back side, remove to this side, you will see the back side light. And the turning signal, let's turn. Turn left, turn right. And the backward light, let's backward. And have go forward, have stop, have brake light, the red light. You you go forward and push stick back side. We have the warning light, the brake light. Okay, so let's turn it around. Start the pump. So now you see all the light. We will see front turning signal light. Try to lift up, turning left, turning right, signal light, left. Okay, we will start the sound system. That's the horn. Turn it around. Okay, see the hydraulic, let's move the bucket, go up. It's already the top, let's try to see the bucket. 
So on top, this is the dead angle top and uh, the tilting for bucket stop here. Other way, okay, that's the downside. Okay, put it down. Okay, that's how much angle the bucket can turn in. Yeah. Put it down. See the power of it. So now the hydraulic pump is 45%. 45 already have enough power to lift up the weight. This weight maybe around 20 kg. Okay, let's put it down. Lift up. Okay, backward. And this one got two speed. So now it is at low speed. We will change it to high speed. Go backward. Pump stop. Backward. Fully ahead. Fully back side. Let's see the low speed compare again. That's full speed for low speed gear. Backward. So now it is high, high speed with differential and low speed with differential and low speed with differential lock. High speed, low speed with differential, low speed with differential locked. Let's see the differential. Okay, 28. I have to lift up. Go forward, that's the differential. And the low speed lock it. Now going. Turning together. Okay, go to high speed, differential. One minute. Unlock it. Okay, now it is engaged. High speed. Uh -huh. I, before this one was touching table, that's why. High speed. Low speed. Low speed with lock. Okay, that's it. And later we will ending off. We will see the details from this side. We will see the back side. We got this is pin for tooling. So this is the metal block for increase the weight and for balancing. So here you lift up. You will see the engine inside is a battery. Here is like a filter and the exhaust pipe. So here we put a small battery here. You can put a bigger one too. This is the light board and the receiver. So here got the ESC. This one should be for the pump. And for the drive one, it's not here. Drive one should be under there for the, the drive motor. OK, we will close it. So this is all the wires for the light. And also this can switch can change the volume, we will see. Okay, decrease. Increase. Like this is enough. Okay, leave it. So here's a mud guard. This is rubber, mud guard, metal one. This cover, it is also all metal. Also the cabin, only the the wind shield, it is plastic, and uh, this one, the wiper plastic. Even this light, this sh this frame, the cover, it is all metal. Only inside is the light, it is LED, it is plastic. Okay, let's see the, the hub. So here we got also the ladder. And this one, also here have the ladder, all metal. 
and this hub also all metal one. And here you see this one got the rear axle got this suspension. Front one no help, it is fixed axle. And this cabin, we can open it. Also, the stop side, this side. So you will see inside is the drive wheel. This one cannot turn. So here's a seat controlling controller. Okay, let's close it. So here got the stainless plate for standing for checking and the mud guard tire. So we will move lift up. We will see a little bit of the hydraulic line. So here are the two hydraulic cylinder. It is for tilting the bucket. So start the pump, we lift up. You will see under there, these two are for the a big boom. So the cylinder, each cylinder got the inlet outlet, so for the piston go in, go out. Stop the pump. And uh, for steering, also hydraulic control. You can see from this side, so both sides have one small cylinder that's for steering. And under here, this one, it is a drive safety shaft. When driving, you will see it's turning with uh, the cutting junction. So when you're steering, you can transfer the power without stuck. Okay. So let's turn it around to see this side. So here we also got the light, the standing, and the mud guard, ladder for this side, and the cabin. The door, keep it open to see. So now we will lift up. Then you will see the axle. Also, this one, you will see it is the metal well, well painted with the color. Also, this frame for holding the axle. It is all alloy metal, very shining color. And here you see this one got the brake, imitating a real car. I will drive it so you will see. I lock it. So when turning, you can check on the front one. So imitating brake, but not a real brake, yeah. So both sides, all four wheels have the brake. And uh, this one on top, you will see they have the differential lock. Not very clear. Maybe you can see it, I will move it. This is the differential lock. So now it is locked. Not moving much. I will drive it, you will see more clearly. It's only moving a little. This one cannot see the rear side. I will try again. So now it is locked. Unlock it. Here you will see the differential lock. We will try again. Lock it. Now it is locked. Unlock. Lock it. Okay. Also rear side got the differential lock. Yeah. Now we will put it down. So. Turn it around, you will see the axles got the same. And check a little bit this. And here is the transmission gearbox. Got this controlling bar, it is here. This one. And when I change in the speed with differential lock, you will see. Now it is high speed, low speed, high speed, okay. And the uh, low speed with differential lock, move it, then it can go inside already in position. Okay, so this is all for this one. The, uh, the axle, it is the cast metal. This brake, this holding frame, it is uh, alloy metal. So from the side, you will also be able to see the plate, how thick it is. So it is very strong loader. 
So we will put it down. Engine start. Low speed. Go to high speed. Now low speed coming and lift go loading go forward loading lift up and go forward change position unloading okay thank you very much so this is the loader from JDM upgraded one. Uh, before we should use the JDM 8.8, that one was uh, the uh, basic one. This one is the new upgraded. Thank you very much. We will see each other again. Bye bye.